Welcome to iMind Maps Getting Started video tutorial. Let's get started straight away and look at how you can create your very first mind map. First of all, click on the blank icon document on the top of your toolbar. From the central images, select one that's most relevant to your topic by clicking on it. This will place the central idea in the middle of your workspace. To amend the text, simply click on the box and type. You are now ready to draw your branches. To draw your main branches, the process is very simple. Simply hover your mouse over the central idea so that the red dot appears. Click and drag and a branch should follow the cursor of your mouse. Release your mouse to fix the branch into position. You can now simply type to add your branch text. Hit enter on your keyboard and the text is placed on the branch. To create a child branch, simply hover your mouse over the end of the branch so that the red dot appears and repeat the process. So hold your mouse down, drag and release your mouse. Again, you can type your text, click enter on the keyboard and your branch text gets added. Where you see the red within iMindMap, this will allow you to create something new. So whether it's in the central idea or at the end of every branch, wherever you see this red dot, you will be able to create something new. If you want to save time and get your ideas down really fast, you can even create branches using your shortcut keys on your keyboard. Now using the tab key will provide a new branch that extends away from your current branch or a child branch or if you hit enter on your keyboard you will create a branch on the same level. You can use the keyboard arrow keys to navigate around your mind map. If you want to know more about speed mind mapping, see the speed mind mapping video tutorial for more information. So what happens if you want to move your branches around or change the length? Now we looked earlier at using the red dots to create something new. If you spot anything blue within the mind map, this will allow you to edit or modify. So if you navigate to the end of a branch, you will see a blue target ring around the red dot. By clicking on this blue target ring, you can move the branch around your workspace. You will also be able to use the blue target ring to change the length of your branch. You will also see blue control points placed along the branch. If you click on these, you can change the shape of your branch very easily. So as a recap, red means that you can create something new and blue means that you can move, reshape or modify. Before we move on, it's just worth knowing that there are also other draw tools. We've been using the standard branch option, but you also have the option to do freehand branches, which will allow you to create branches of any shape. Or box branches, which will provide a box at the end of your branch if you have more than one or two keywords. Finally, you have a relationship which will allow you to link ideas together using a visual arrow. Drag from the red dot to another branch, release and a relationship will be placed onto your workspace. To quickly navigate around your workspace, simply click anywhere on the white space in the canvas and drag. Now that we can add, change and move branches, let's get a bit more creative and look at how to insert images onto your mind map workspace. First of all, click on the branch you wish to add the image to. Navigate to the Insert tab and you've got a few different options here. I'm going to have a look at Image Library. This will bring up the side panel. I'm going to pin this into place. 
Here you can search for images using keywords. Type and click and your image search should come up. By double clicking on the image itself it will be put into your workspace for you. You can move your images around by clicking and dragging. You will also note that there are eight grab handles placed around the image so you can increase or decrease the image size. The rotation wheel will also allow you to manipulate its position on the workspace. Because the branch was active when we added the image, if I now move this branch, you will see that the image gets moved with the branch as well. You will also notice that there is an icon library option. By clicking on this, you will find in the side panel a number of different categories, each having their own list of icons within. By clicking on a branch and then clicking on an icon, the icon will be placed onto the workspace and again attached to your branch. The third image option is Image from File. This will allow you to add your own images from your own computer. By clicking on this you can browse your own machine and find a relevant image. Now that your mind map is looking a little bit more exciting, let's get practical by inserting a note. Now notes are great if you want to attach a bit more detail to your mind map without it clogging up the workspace. So I'm going to select a branch, making sure that it's active so that the blue control points are visible. I'm going to go back to the Home tab and click on Note. In my side panel, the Notes side panel will appear. This is a basic word processor so that you can add your own text. You can also insert images, links and tables into your notes editor. Furthermore, you can copy and paste information from other tools such as the internet, Word documents or PDF files. You will also notice a notes icon is placed on the branch. Whenever I click on this, the notes will be displayed in the side panel. You can also insert links onto your mind map by going to the home tab again and clicking on link. You have two options here. First of all is to add a URL, so a link to a website. Here you will see a link has been added to my branch. Again, if I click on this, the website will be opened automatically for me in the side panel and then I have an option here to edit, delete or open externally. I also have another option under the links to insert a file. By clicking on the folder icon, by clicking on the browse icon, you can navigate to your machine and find a relevant file to attach. Again, a link icon will be placed on your branch and by clicking this, it will open up the file automatically. Or you can simply navigate to the side panel and choose whether you want to open, edit or delete. And don't forget some of the other amazing features that you will find within iMindMap. 3D View will revolutionise your thinking and allow you to see your ideas in a completely different way. Great for presenting as it smoothly animates your branches allowing you to zoom in to different parts of your mind map. Presentation view will change the way you present forever. And don't forget, you can also present in 3D view. Multimaps will allow you to add multiple central ideas to your workspace for complete idea exploration and joined up thinking.
filtering, project management, expand and collapse, full export options, focus on and out, and that's just to name a few. We have video tutorials on all of these features, so don't forget to check these out as well. Before I go, don't forget to save your mind map by clicking on the disk icon. You can also, under file, export in a number of different ways or print. If you need more help, we have a variety of different ways you can learn more. Check out our quick guides, our mini video tutorials, our shortcut key documents and comprehensive help files within iMindMap.